Yo, what's going on, everybody? We got some Arlo Wulu today. Now, obviously, it's just gonna be me. My man's Lunar is sick, bro. I don't know what's going on. Something's in the air. I know a lot of people that aren't feeling too well right now. It's crazy. So I tell him, I'm like, yo, bro, I'm about to record. And he's like, okay, who's stopping you? And I'm like, you're right. I'm gonna do it by myself because I'm commander in chief. This, this is my, my channel. <laughs> <laughs> 3,000 likes and I'll fire Lunar right now. Anyways, today we got the worst ass whoopings in Baki, pickle edition. Hey, shout outs to all the Wulu. Link to the original video down below. Go check it out. Let me get this up here. Feel me? What? So as you can see, it sucks to be this guy. This guy right here, bruh. Imagine you run into 1v1s with somebody and they start biting you, bruh. Bro, what the dog doing? I'm gonna switch it up today. I'm gonna go with the green screen. You know what I'm saying? Which is why my shirt looks like this. I got that 007 on, bro. I'll literally pull up and do it to you. Stop playing with me. Pause on that. Anyways, let's get it, bruh. I feel like this is like my like fifth Baki video we've seen, but hey, they're all different. Shout out to all the anime commentators, bro. Amazing work. Hold on, I gotta fart. Sorry about that. I'm I'm walling today. Let's go. Damn. Damn. I better just start it. These particular niggas right here are straight dumbasses. Motherfucker must have been smoking straight crack if he thought he was about to beat this digger nigga. This dude is literally older than Jesus Christ. Like, he was so OP, he had Earth game devs stressing trying to find a way to nerf this man. Yeah, um, sir, we uh, we might have a problem. Oh, uh, why? What's going on? Yeah. yeah, you know that human class you made? Yeah, one of them is fucking hacking. What the f***? Drop a meteor on that nigga. Real pickle Rose lord. His ass. But if it wasn't for that, there would have been a Bible chapter about how this nigga crossed up Jesus in a one-on-one. -on -one. And his dumbass is like, oh my god, I must fight him and prove my honor. Just to get folded and got his leg munched on by George of the fucking jungle. Oh god. <laughs> But before we get into the actual fight, as anime fans, there are so many products we'd love to buy from Japan, but they don't ship overseas. But with today's sponsor, Zed Yo! Market, bro, all of Wulu got the sponsorships, bro. We missing some sponsorships, too. I'm gonna make y'all start playing some damn, uh, 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 Ray Shadow Legends, bro. What you talking about? Bro, this season, Pickle turned this man, Retsu Kaio, into a D1 Glazer. Man was so obsessed with Pickle, he went Metal Gear Solid in this bitch. I can't believe they got me guarding some naked buff nigga from a bunch of other bigger buff niggas. Like, this is this <laughs> shit. Who goes there? Put his dick up against this Yo. random man's butt just to sneak in and see him. But that wasn't even the glazing that led to his ass whooping. Nah, when Pickle was starving himself to death, this man took the glazing to another level and offered himself up as a Big Mac combo. Yeah. Oh, nigga, you gay. <laughs> into the arena to collect his Little ass did he know. That's exactly what was going to happen. Yo, nah. Baki is is very interesting, bro, because the way the first one started, right? Baki was in high school or some shit. And then it was five. Oh, yeah, Philly said this. A big five burly men, big brolic men, like, broke out of prison just to fight a high schooler. That's crazy. They just be horny for a fight, man. And then look, look what's about to happen to Goofy right here. And just look at this man's face. Not a thought behind those damn eyes. Oh, now nah, y'all just gotta be IQ deficient. That's yeah, I got the mention. Five minutes ago, he turned a Siberian tiger oh into God. a goddamn pretzel with ah. just a hug. And now you gotta let some random Chinese nigga with a ponytail box him? Yeah, I got the mention. And that's not just some random Chinese nigga. That's 4,000 years of Chinese kung fu you're looking at. <laughs> it's 4,000 years of kung fu. Not enough. It's 100 million years of ooga booga. Man, shut your nerdy ass up. You can need to put the calculator down and go get some bitches. God damn. Anyway, so Tarzan huh? wakes up. The show's trying to tell us he sensed the 4,000 years of kung fu training. I think bro just smelled Chinese food walking up. And this man just jumps in like Jackie yeah. Chan. Buddy, you are not the main character. It's my time to shine, they says. So for the first time, Pickle actually- Oh my god. Uh, do you see the difference in height? Hello? My oh my- Yo, he has to literally look up at him. And not only is this man like, you know- Tall? He is an actual demon, bro. Why is he? Look how he looks. Oh, no. Nah, he a beast. A fighting stand. This man Retsu's like, for this battle, I will call upon every Jackie Chan or Bruce Lee movie I've seen so far. I just took one step, and Pickle just starts running at him, meat swinging everywhere. Slaps him and sends him into the goddamn wall. My back. I knew it. I knew that nigga was trash. I told you, bald ass, this idea was stupid. But Retsu was not done. He's like, hmm, it seems as though sheer strength can't beat him. Like, no shit, nigga. Can you wrestle a T-Rex? I think Yo. the not. So Pickle starts skedaddling up again. He really wants a taste of Panda Express, but all he got was a taste of ankle. Then Ritsu started feeling a little zesty. But he said, I whip my hair back and forth, ripped him and had his rock hard booty hit the ground, and then roundhouse kicked him in the eyeballs with all his strength. He had this man Pickle crying. 
not in pain. This Uga Booga not enough. was crying because he was thinking. <laughs> this nigga is trash. Red is <laughs> losing though. In his mind, he thinks he's winning. He starts hitting pickle with Yo. all types of Kung Fu. He's really trying to pick up the next Dragon Warrior. Karate chop, gun punch. I learned that one from Rush Hour 3, bitch. So now he's standing there all proud of himself like, I was six clean attacks straight to his head. Wait, I'm goaded. That, like like that boy just got like eight. That boy just got like eight concussions, bro. What the hell? Himself like, I was six clean attacks straight to his head. Look. What? Wait, I'm goaded. I hope I didn't end the fight early. I like it, cut you. <laughs> Man, I fell down to my knees. Michael Jordan and his shit. Nah, after that, he gonna have trouble counting Ooh. for the rest of his life. I'm thinking about buying this book on counting. Three, four. What's gonna happen next? Anyway, so now Red is on his knees. Hey, pause. Yo, why is his mouth open like that? Double hey, pause. Yo. So Pickle picks this nigga up like an action figure. Oh my like, god. Is this a W eats? So. Nah. It just takes a oh. straight up out of him. Retro tries to stop him, but Pickle loves you to play hard to eat. Two times. Oh, Yo, bro. It don't matter how many times I watch this. Bro, the creator of Baki, my brother, you were on a perk 50. What? No. 90, 120 maybe. Did it? Does it even go up that high? Why is he biting him like that for? <laughs> like, bro, just decided to grab some man meat. Mid-battle? That's crazy. Hard to eat. To be honest, I don't know why this man is so surprised. He literally volunteered to be eaten. Now he's astonished. This nigga started munching. So then this man is like, all right, it's time for my Rock Lee moment. Starts taking off his tap dance shoes and general strident. Bro took off the Waba keys, bro. Bro, who keep texting me, man? Stop texting me, bro. Yo, it's 444. Come here. Come here. Let's make a wish. I wish I can kiss everybody. What? I wish this video would get 4,000 likes. 2,500 likes. Yeah, I could do that. Okay. Right. It's time for my Rock Lee moment. Starts taking off his tap dance shoes, and General Stride is like, oh shit, he's finally getting serious. But this man Pickle could not care less. You bastard. How dare you eat the son of a warrior? With the society! Damn. I know for a fact he's regretting all that dick riding now. Like, look at how he was acting the day before. All I can think about is fighting him. Did you see what he did to that news reporter? His dick was like 16 inches, nigga. Yeah, yeah. I just, yeah. Like, I just want to wrestle it. The next day. This, this can't be. 4,000 years of kung fu. Just get beaten by a dinosaur booty clapper. Nah, I'm not taking that. A warrior shall not get taken out by a nigga who has never wiped his ass before. So Buddy starts genuinely tweaking. He's like, fuck that bald-headed ass nigga who told me kung fu was gonna get me home. I ain't gonna lie, I feel him though. That man Tarzan has been here for three days. He already got some cheeks. So yeah. he gives up on all the Jackie Chan movies and joins Pickle in his low IQ fighting. Master Ugwe, Po, Shifu, I'm sorry. Pause. You see, this is a move we like no, to call no, no. the p bitch shuffle. Niggas who use this technique in battle typically have no bitches, no bread in their pockets, and have zero uh, hands. Uh, uh. To counter this move, all you have to do is kick him in the balls. Or, better yet, if you really want to crush his soul, just stand there and eat it. He probably punches like a little bitch. Hey, nah, that's embarrassing, bro. Fight. But the Bruce Lee in his blood just wouldn't allow him to fight like a goober. He starts Weep. dodging all of Pickle's attacks, even managed to hit <laughs> him in the face. And that's when the brain damage from earlier kicked in. This man spawned in an imaginary friend. Man, you suck at fighting. What Dude, who are you? Can't you tell? Whoa, I'm kind of you ain't no goddamn Bruce Lee. You look just like me. Exactly, dumbass. The reason you can't abandon your kung fu is because you are kung fu. I ain't gonna lie, he's still about to get cooked, but hey, give me a hug before I go. Now go beat that naked nigga's ass! <laughs> so now after that pep talk, Richard starts giving Pickle the business, made sure his next shorty won't be having any Ooga Booga kids running around, and then kicked him in the face. But now Damn. that attack alone would be too Damn. Hard. So he uses his musty ass toes to grab onto his Boom. hair and then knead his ass to sleep. <laughs> oh, that's such a con valid. All that shit was nothing to pickle. This nigga is the embodiment of putting all your skill points into strength. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that nigga's done for. Like this man is on all fours, hey, booty yo. stretched to the sky. I know he feels that breeze hitting his cheek, but he don't care. <laughs> what movie am I gonna use next? 
Fist of Fury. I ain't gonna lie. If I was fighting a nigga and he just gets on all fours, I'm good off that. I can see his booty in that from front. I'm calling it a day, bro. I'm going home. Oh, nah. Fist of Fury. I'm good on that, bro. Oh, hell no. He's doing some other shit. He's about to charge my ass like a lion. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't going out like no bitch. So, Pippa just lying. Just at me. Pippa just lying. Just at him. Mouth wide open. Just lying. Just at him. Mouth wide open. He's not trying to wait a second long before having his dessert. Turn to trying to defend himself. 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 Turn to trying to Jackie Chan's gonna be in Kung Fu Panda 4, and he wants to watch it. Get that, Did you get that shit out of here? And he just goes straight to munch you. I hope Phantom doesn't tax my food. No, Phantom, what are you doing? Phantom, stay, hey, yo. He Retsu so bad, he gave up Kung Fu and went in a whole ass boxing arc. I'm gonna make a video on that in the second channel. Link in the description. All right, Wooligans. Anyway, that name was hard, right? That's what, that's, that's what we're going to call that. Wooligans? Anyways, let's not even waste no time, bro. We're going to start with the nigga who got his ass beat the worst. Baki's version of Vegeta, Eminem. Oh, my God, <laughs> bro. The only... Bro, here's the... Let me summarize this for you. Pickle and this man, Jack. You know what I'm saying? They start kissing. The end. Pause on that. Another example of why the creator of Baki is on a perk 120. 55. Right. He's tweaking. This man broke in just to get his ass beat. Mr. Firm Booty over here was like, get your ass up. And Pickle obliged. But wait, hold on. What the fuck? Didn't this man just have his shirt off? Man, whatever, bro. It's not Bach if you don't get a scene of a nigga getting half naked before the fight. So now these two are just staring at each other. Oh, nah. Sexual tension is going through the roofs. Like, just look at this nigga Pickle, bro. He looks like he's about to ask me if he prayed today. Anyway, so of course this roid head Jack puts zero thought into attacking. Just charges at Pickle and hits him with a I'm gonna go into a buff nigga punch. And he had this man Pickle shook. All the dumbass niggas of form tried all these useless technique one motherfucker even managed to yeah. pack himself up trying to use his hand as yeah. a whip but he turned his head into baloney and pickle had to get on his knees to pray to jesus for this man's iq <laughs> to anyway so jack's like damn nigga you natty you gotta be a or some shit because ain't no fucking way Greg, natty that boy be eating dinosaur meat bro three thousand grams of protein in that bro are you serious bro of course he ain't natty he just eating prehistoric beef bro what Wrong. Gotta be on Jen or some shit, cause ain't no fucking way. Greg Doucette gotta be cooking up a video on you. Then Jack decides to join in on the glazing and it's like, and that punch didn't chip a single tooth? Nah. <laughs> Let's have a bite off. I've been chewing coconuts in my free time. Like, bro, what? That's gotta be the most pause shit I've ever heard in Baki. But then you just look at this man Pickle and he looks excited as fuck. <laughs> Terry was trying to say they're drawn together by primal instinct. Nah, bro, they just zesty. Yo, Uncle, I'm still good to fight tomorrow. You wanna fight Pickle tomorrow? Uh... Yo, yo. I wanna train your booty. I think Pickle likes dudes now. Like, that is not fighting, bro. Anyway, so huh? Jack starts getting overpowered. This dude Pickle starts whipping the sea bum built ass nigga around like it was a Twizzler. And he just slings him. With his mouth? Now, bro's just sitting there like he's in timeout. And hold on, wait, 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 wait. What is Pickle chewing on? Oh my dear god, he yeah. is munching on this man's face! At least his teeth are still good. I ain't gonna lie, for a street nigga like Jack, his teeth are white as fuck. Anyway, so as Pickle's coming back for another kiss, Jack hits him with a sky up for And Pickle hitting the T-pose mid-air, but Jack wasn't happy. He was like, what the fuck? I put every ounce of HRT, tread, Viagra into that punch, and I couldn't even send a chip through his brain? What? How did that punch not knock Pickle out? It's simple. That nigga is trash. Now Pickle's back in the booty up position, ready to run back his broken ultimate, the Ooga Booga tackle. And this nigga Jack looks like he just jacked off thinking about it. Baki and Red just to witness Pickle <laughs> jump at Jack. <laughs> but once the holy lights disappear, this nigga parried Pickle completely. He had everyone surprised. They all thought Jack was sorry as shit. Anyway, Slim said he's not finished. He palms Baki's head hey, and just shoves yo. it into the ground like a thing. He said, come here, boy. Jack was sorry as Look shit. Look at anyway, this. Slim said he's not finished. He palms Baki's <laughs> I said I'm not done. We're going for round two. What? Baki's head and just shoves it into the ground like a filthy high school bully. Then he brings him close like he's about to go in for another kiss, but instead he just yeets him back into yeah. the arena. 
Motherfucker jumped down, started trauma dumping on the caveman who can't even speak English. Do you see what I turned myself into? God damn! I trend below these sandwiches every day. Got no bitches to keep my test levels at their maximum. Trained till I was peeing the bed every goddamn night. Took every drug known to mankind. Bro, I even had leg stretching surgery. And now I'm mad because my balls fell off. Then this man just Mike Tyson Pickle's ear off and spits it back at him. And at that very moment, Jack should have known. You fucked up. Nah, he messed up, bro. Trolling Jack. He would vanish like Houdini, then appear again. Whole time, he would just bouncing up the walls at Mach 10 speeds. And Jack's just standing there thinking, Man, I'm cooked. I just realized this nigga used to literally beat dinosaurs up for fun. God, I ain't never asked you for shit before in my life. But please, help me beat this shit. This man Pickle had Jack stun locked up. Boom. This just come. Oh, Combo this shit. Had body ragdolling midair. Broke his goddamn skull. And started emoting on his ass. <laughs> anyway, so now it's time for Pickle's victory meal. He tried to take some of that Canadian poutine. But as he starts walking towards Jack to take a bite, Pickle shits himself. Watch out, watch out, watch out. No, Jack, I, Jack, oh. <laughs> It turns out when he was a wee little ooga booga jit, Pickle was boxing a wasp, and when his dumb ass killed and ate it, it stung his ass. This bitch dramatic as f. There's no way it hurt that bad, though. Anyway, so because of that, he's got a fear of things that attack even after being killed. So he just sat in the corner crying like a little bitch. What a little. Bitch. Oh, like, so he thought. Okay. okay. Unk! <laughs> Oh! Nah, Jack is a fucking demon. This motherfucker programmed his body to give any nigga who managed to knock him out the most diabolical f you ever. Yeah, and it was yeah. fast forward, but they tried to bring this nigga back from the gulag. And I kid you not, the second the doctor left, Dr. Riz, the nigga who looked like Eminem, he's gone. Ah, uh, don't worry. We'll see him soon. This motherfucker returned to resume the fade. My apologies, Mr. Pickle. I left before I could introduce you to my foot, you big God guy. Goddamn. Jack just started Yo, bro, who, um... Who is that? Hold on. Mr. Pickle. I left bro, look at the size of his calves. He looked like, um, who's that dude from My Hero, bro? The one with the turbo, with the twin turbo things right here. Why is he built Why like that, man? Fuck you, bitch ass bitch. This man Jack just starts straight pommeling Pickle. In reality, those kicks ain't even doing shit to this man. But to Pickle, this man arose again like Jesus Christ. He wants zero smoke. They take the fight outside. All the NPCs just trying to enjoy their Sunday evening. And Pickle stops all of a sudden and is like, what? What? I'm like, oh. So this nigga turns around, runs up to Jack, uppercuts him. I had Buddy looking at the sky like, wow. What a beautiful day. Looks down just in time to catch a left hook from hell. That bro's body spinning so fast that he's gonna fly off. Oh, and Beyblading. God. Nah, GG, bro. Someone grab his reboot card. Anyway, so he wakes up again in the hospital, and all that's are begging him, like, Nigga, please pack it up. You can't handle him. But bro is running on pure delusion. Better go run it back again. Please, bro, just go back to your room. Your ass, bro. Huh? You can't squabble! After Pickle knocked your ass out, he personally carried you to the hospital because he thought you were a weak little bitch! You weren't even an optum at that point, you were just a meal! And this man Jack just starts crying. Uh, this one, that boy need a dentist. The in the description. Love y'all. Peace. Peace. Hey. Hey, that was fire, yo. Shout outs to all the Wooly. Like I say, my boy. Bro, it doesn't matter how many of these we watch. I just gotta say, like, this is genuinely very entertaining, especially like people's commentaries and edits. And the fact that Baki itself, right? The season, the show, whatever. It's like, bro, what am I watching? Yeah, bro, these fights aren't they're not realistic in any realm of of reality cannot happen, bro. There's just no way. This is crazy. But then again, it's Baki, so it is what it is. But anyways, hey. Oh, wait, I get to do the outro myself. Check me out. Check me out. <clears throat> if you like the video, like it. Because you can't like the video and not like it. Oh, you get pissed the fuck up. See, I said it in slow motion for you, okay? And for the hater, man, guess what you could do? For the haters. Bro, why are you hating? It's Baki. It's all the Wulu. Great commentary. Bro, we chilling out here. Why would you hate the video? Anyways, man, for the haters, guess what you could do? Fuck off, bro. Yo. Like, how could you even, I don't understand how you watch the video all the way to the end and you still hating. That is insane, bro. That is insane, man. Like the video, because if you don't, I will literally pull it to your house on some. Open the door. Open the door. And as soon as you come to the door, I'm going to take a bite off you. What? Pause. All right, man, I got to go. I don't know what's going on here. Yo, leave a like. Uh, Shout out all the wudu.